Hey guys, welcome to the video. I'm Van and today I'm doing a full day of eating like Greg Doucet. Okay, so for breakfast, I'm not doing his French toast. I've already tried that one before. I'm making his French toast blueberry pancakes. So I was really curious about this recipe because you have to blend the bread. It's kind of weird, I know, but I'm only doing half his recipe because I'm a small Cuban, so I'm not having a 600 calorie breakfast, that's for sure. But yeah, we're only going to need some egg whites, some regular as bread, some sweetener and the usual cinnamon vanilla extract and then some blueberries to put on top. I'm also adding a little bit of baking powder because I don't have any guar gum or sandan gum or anything like that. So I hope it works too. Okay, so I think not using sandan gum is definitely affecting the consistency. It looks like mine is a little bit more liquid than his, but I'm going to let it sit for a little while and see if it thickens up. This is an epic pancake, really massive, massive pancake. I didn't have any Greek yogurt, so I just made a quick protein sludge and I'm going to top it with that because obviously I was lacking a lot of protein with this pancake. The whole pancake with the toppings is around 460 calories, I think. I've also got some sugar-free maple syrup just in case. So let's give it a taste. Looks really eggy. It tastes really eggy too, but it's actually really good. It's not as sweet as I thought it was going to be. Maybe because the sweetener I use is different or I don't know. I would definitely never guess that this was made with bread, <laughs> like cheap ass bread, but it's actually really good. I think I should have checked for the sweetener before because he says he likes it really sweet and this is definitely not sweet at all. Well that was really good. <clears throat> I'll have to check on the sweetener later because I definitely think it should be way more sweet but overall it was pretty good it's definitely the most satiating breakfast i've had in my whole life i'm not necessarily the biggest fan of that eggy taste but i'm really really full like full <laughs> so i'll see you at lunch i'm starting to get a little hungry so it's time to make lunch i'm doing his anabolic lasagna following one of his youtube videos I've already prepared everything beforehand so that it's easier and I just have to build everything up. The recipe obviously calls for meat but I don't eat meat so I'm using a vegan substitute. One thing is that you have to be really careful about what type of su substitute you use because depending on which type it can have a lot of fat so way more calories. I couldn't find the palmini noodles, so I'm using directly parts of palm. I tried to cut them thin so it would make kind of 
lasagna sheets, but well, you have to do with what you have. I was worried that it wasn't going to fit in here, but we managed to make it work. We're just missing the cheese on top. I'm not sure how I feel about those cheese slices. We put the cheese on and now it's time to cover it with some foil and put it in the oven for 40 minutes. I forgot to say that I'm only doing half of the recipe and it's for me and my partner, so I'm only having one quarter of the recipe. <laughs> This thing is just freaking massive. <laughs> I think I probably should have let it cook a little longer because the zucchini is not really done yet, but I was starving so. <laughs> I couldn't wait. It's a little watery. You can obviously tell it's not real lasagna, but it is really good. And a lot of food for only 500 calories. Well, that was really delicious. The only thing I would change is probably the cheese. Mm. It's something about it that it just doesn't tell me it's lasagna, I don't know. I would probably use some low-fat mozzarella or something like that. I think it would be a lot better. But if you're trying to lose weight or on a diet, I actually just looked it up. It's 480 calories for this whole thing. I'm stuffed, so it's really worth it. We're safe and sound. You got me waiting. I won't find love. You got me waiting. My desire. I follow your heartbeat. Keep on moving. Do the drums now. and it's time it's to make my favorite dinner of all time and that is pizza i usually have pizza at least once a week and greg's recipe is actually not very different from the one i usually make so i'm using corn tortillas the one for tacos because i can't find that flatbread here in spain but i found that this is the one with the lowest calories you can find even though it's smaller i make around two or three so it's even better because i'm eating two or three pizzas for myself so i'm going to be using this vegan chicken it's really good has a lot of protein and almost no fat and for the cheese i'm using this low fat mozzarella and these cheese squares or whatever i've also already prepared some mushrooms and onions to put on top so that they don't soak everything and yeah, let's get into making this. I'm super excited. By the way, even though I was stuffed after lunch, I'm pretty starving right now, so better be quick. Yeah. 
I'm super excited for this one. So this ended up being one with chicken and mozzarella, one with half mozzarella and half the square cheese. And this one is only veggies. I think I should have let this in the oven more time again. I'm impatient like that, so... <laughs> because this one that was at the end of the oven looks great, but this one kind of fell apart. I don't know why, but... Well, that was really good, but weirdly enough, my least favorite meal of the day. So today was a really good day of eating. I wanted to do this just to see what all the hype was about. I definitely can tell why he eats like this and why many people love it because the meals are really easy to make, really tasty. They keep you super full. That pizza was 185 calories every small pizza. And my total macros for the day were around 130 grams of protein for just under 1500 calories, which is a lot lot of protein. I normally eat around 1800 calories and managed to get just above 100 grams of protein. What is also really great is that it's almost as if you were on a cheat day but you're still dieting pretty hard. Like for me under 1500 calories is dieting and well that, that maybe allows you to eat some other treats apart from that but but yeah I would say if you have the money definitely buy his cookbook. I, I just used the recipes that are on his YouTube channel because his cookbook is like half of what I earn in a month so <laughs> not happening but I definitely recommend it so that is going to wrap the video for today guys if you enjoyed it please give me a like thanks for watching and see you in the next one